Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and yesterday I released a video on how to export multi-tracks from Drummer or Drum Kit Designer, and this is the result I got, individual drum multi-tracks for a full drum kit. But one of the things you'll notice is that all of the tracks are in stereo. You can see that they're stereo if you look at the audio routing or audio format icon up here at the top of the channel strip. And if I zoom out a bit, you'll also see that the regions are in stereo because you're seeing two waveforms per region. And I got a question from Juan here who says, I can see that the kick snare and other channels that I usually mix in mono are bounced in stereo. Is there a way to solve it? And the answer is absolutely yes. There's a very quick and easy way to solve this. So certain channels like the leak track, the overheads, the room mics, maybe even some of the percussion and shakers, these have stereo information in them. And so there is a reason to leave certain tracks in stereo, but other tracks like your kick mics, your snare mics, your toms, the hi-hat, these don't have any stereo information in them. And so there's no real reason to keep them stereo. So all you have to do is select those tracks in the mixer and then click right here and this will convert them from stereo to mono. So those two interlocking circles will just go to a single circle and now all of those channels are mono and any plugins that you load up on those channels will also be loaded up in mono as well. Now, if your OCD doesn't like seeing stereo waveforms or stereo regions on mono channels, there's a way to fix this as well. So just make sure to select all of those channels that you want to convert to mono. Press Control B to bring up the bounce in place dialog. For destination, you're gonna select source tracks. You're gonna set this to one file per track. For the source, select delete. So we're gonna replace the stereo source here with a mono source on the same track. Make sure that bypass effects plugins is checked because we don't wanna include any effects plugins. And then everything else can remain unselected. And then for normalize, you can just set this to off. Then click OK. And what this is going to do is it's going to bounce each of those regions in place and make their new regions match the same audio routing format as the channel, which is now mono. So you'll see there's only one waveform for each of the mono channels, but the stereo channels all still have two waveforms. And also now while you're panning things, you don't have to worry about right clicking on your pan knobs and setting these to stereo panners. You can just use the standard one channel pan on each of the mono channels. So that's how you can easily convert any track or region from stereo down to mono. And what this is really doing is it's summing the left and right channels down to mono. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.